told you guys it's a forest walking belt belt is a forest and this whole place is a forest so they basically built this thing inside a forest so that the outside wall wouldn't have a clue what what was going on or the outside wall didn't have a clue what was going on here yeah Part that is very sad to me in all this Buchenwald thing is that when the camp was liberated by the British and the Americans, I think the indigents of this city, of this Weimar city, of this village, Weimar, they claimed they didn't know what was going on here. Sad, huh? The British and the Americans they brought them all out here to see what was going on here, and they were all shh quote-unquote shock that they didn't know what was going on here that such atrocities that they didn't that they were not aware that such atrocities was being committed here right under their doorstep <laughs> or, or right in front of their doorstep yeah yeah so i'll just film around and show you guys the whole place uh, you know so stick around like share subscribe to crack house entertainment only on crack house you know So guys, I'm in Buchenwald. I was at the information center, so they gave me this like a pamphlet because I wanted to know if to just look around is free, not that someone will come and like start harassing me, you know, being the only you know black guy here. But lucky enough, it's free. So I'll just film around and show you guys what Buchenwald looks like. Like I said, it's a former Nazi concentration camp. See, it's kind of sad, but just please like, share, and subscribe. It's only on Crack House, you know. Take you guys to where they used to cremate uh, people to the crematorium. It's weird. Last time I was here, like I went there with my wife, with my girl, then girlfriend. But now, I don't know if it's still there. Just look around. Yeah. Yeah. Where they used to then, there is, um, there is this. Um, it's funny. There is, there is um, a. I don't know, I don't want to say that when there are people behind me, but I'll was, I was say it anyway. It's weird, for real, it's a weird feeling. Yeah, there is this place, you still see bones and arches of people still lying there because I think the government doesn't allow, um, the government um, wants the whole thing to be like, to remain where they were in the, in the 30s, in the 40s, and yeah, just I think that building, that's the um, staff quarters. Like uh, I think the commandant of the base, the commander of the base, or the this is where he used to stay. Let me just keep quiet and let you guys like enjoy the old tour and absorb the old thing.
You know, me being a black man and all the bullshit and the racism, the discrimination we go through outside of our homeland, and I'm coming to this place and saying all these things. You know, it's sad. Honestly, I'm like short of um, speech. I really don't know what to say, how to comment this video. I don't know how to narrate this video, honestly, because I don't want to miss Yan. I don't want to say things that I shouldn't say. So I will just allow you guys to watch the video and please like, share, and subscribe. And this is what the place looks like originally in 1943. I think this is immediately after liberation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that building right there. That building right there has a history. Legend has it that that building, that you see the, what looks like, um, what looks like a terrace there, there, that. They say the commandant of this place used to stand there every morning. And they will march the prisoners out in the open and they will just be using them as target for target practice. Don't know how true that is, if it's true. Uh, like I said, it's very sad and I don't know, it's hate. This place is full of hate, you know me, even being here. Being here, I can feel the, you know, the chills in me. It's like it gives me chills, for real, to just be here. I mean... We go through racism and discrimination and hate every day, but being here and seeing all these things up close, I don't know. Let me just shut my mouth and let you guys enjoy, okay? Okay. What what you're seeing there? That's where the original camp used to stand. All those places where you see the stones. They used to stand the um, the buildings like hostels type of build type buildings. Yeah. the crematorium yeah. 
hostels used to stand. See? The original hostel used to stand here. Yeah. Block 3. You know how many people lost their lives here? <laughs> It's weird. This place is like, I don't know, man. You know how many people died here? How many people were murdered here? It's sad. They say the commandant of this base used to stand there and be using prisoners for target practice every month. Yeah. to be building there used to be a building used to be build buildings everywhere yeah. Yeah, people were kept before being executed and killed for nothing that's an osvice osvice is an id that's an id someone's id card a uh, is the was the name of Luvi laszlo Born 1931, yeah, in Yere, Yerehasa. Yeah, he was single, and he was uh, he had no children. He had no child. He used to live at uh, Nakikalo Post po U Number 999 on Sabol's Mickey Street. His religion was Muslim. Yeah, he was a, a Hungarian. Yeah. Jesus Christ. He was God. He was a he was a, he was locked up in Auschwitz as a prisoner. Jesus. Man, this is fucking sad for real.
12,000 people were murdered here. After the war, 127 survivors left this camp to Inner State Thuringen, and there are 15 people who went to Hayford. There yeah. 400 survivors uh, were from, from Breslauer camp. There is another camp. There used to be another concentration camp in Breslauer. Ah, man, this is a sad story. I don't want to just read this. I'll take you guys to the main gate. Where I came in from is not the main entrance. I'll take you guys to the main gate. Yes, there is this uh, Arbeit Max Fry sign still standing there. So I'm going now to the Soviet uh, grave yard and yeah, cemetery and all that. Uh, wait, I think it's translated in, in, in the English way. Yeah, in this area of it, this bit. Victims of the Soviet Special Camp No. 2 were anonymously buried. More than 7,000 camp inmates died between 1945 and 1950, and particularly during the year 1946-47. Also, they perished mostly due to hunger and sickness. Man, I don't want to be here for real. Seven thousand people are buried here. It's weird. I swear to God, it's weird. You see, so there are rods, there are markings, there are markings. Can you see them? There are markings. I think to mark the graveyard, the grave. Yeah. Damn. Markings. There are pools of like steel pipes. It smells like dead bodies. Yes, yes. 
So there is uh, this thing here. Okay, I know one talk about what's in that thing. What's the next thing? using people to experiment on some shit. Okay. Now, as once they arrived here, they will mash them all into this building and use some kind of spray to disinfect them. I don't know. ticket to get in there because of the corona situation only 30 people are allowed in at once at a given time and i don't have that time to wait because i'm still i still have like 500 kilometers to drive back home and um so yeah
So when someone asks me, hey, why didn't the Africans revolt during slave during slavery? I always like to refer them to this kind of place, you know. Why didn't the prisoners revolt? And the answer there is simple. Gunpowder, man. <laughs> whoever holds the gun, whoever holds the gun has the power. Okay? So why didn't the people here revolt? Why didn't they like fight fight the the, 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 um, the, the Nazis? The question uh, the answer there is gunpowder. And hungry people can't fight, man. <laughs> That's the fact. Hungry people can't fight. Sick people can't fight. Yeah. If you hold the gun, if you're the one holding the gun, you know, you can say whatever you like. You can do whatever you want to do. Once you're the one in control, once you're the one holding the gun, once you're, once you're the one pointing gun at, you know, at kind of, I don't know. I don't know. You can say whatever you want to say, do whatever you want to do. And most especially if the person you're pointing your gun at is weak, sick, and hungry. And re is really not in his right state of mind. So you can manipulate him or her, do whatsoever you want to do with him or her. He will, you know. So let's just leave it at that, man. Hate. Hate. This is what... This is what hate brings, you know. This happened as, as a result of hate. Nothing else. This happened because of hate. The hate in, in people. Just enjoy the video. There is the crematorium where they used to burn dead bodies. You know, because they had so many of them. You know, you see that truck right there? That's where they used to. <laughs> I'm gonna let me just walk there. Let me just go over there and show you guys. Yeah. <laughs>